Seriously cold weather is believed to be responsible for at least two deaths over the past 24 hours. One in Cleveland, the other in Akron. News Channel 5 Stephanie Ramirez joins us live in Cleveland. Steph, how'd they happen? Well, Chris, uh, the man in Akron, we were told a man in his 40s was found dead outside of his home. We don't know what he was doing outside, but what he was wearing, well, authorities say that was a spring jacket. We may have warmed up a few degrees, but we're still not out of the deep freeze yet. Real concern for our area's police and fire workers, Parma Fire Department member Doug Turner. Even if you're just going out to get the mail, take the dog out, I would still dress appropriately because if you slip and fall and you can't get up, you, it's still three degrees out. The reason this Parma ambulance just pulled in? Just recently we went on a call of someone in a wheelchair that got stuck in a snowbank. So hopefully they were dressed appropriately. They ended up uh, helping him get out of the snowbank and they transported him because of the, the cold. Area hospitals seeing a big jump in cold related injuries. In Cleveland, this is one list of weather related emergency room visits in the past two days. The list includes a 34 year old woman with a disabled vehicle suffering from mild hypothermia. A 48 year old woman locked out of her house with cold exposure and that list goes on. I'm happy we didn't go to school today. I was like, I see why they made us stay home. The look on Dijonay Harges' face is from having seen what sub-zero temps can do to a person. That person, a man across the street police identified as a 58-year-old victim, Ray Campbell of Cleveland. Neighbors believe he got locked out and possibly fell trying to climb through a higher window. It was just it was breathtaking. I didn't know what to think. Young or old, this weather knows no discrimination. Officials across our area warning everyone you still have to bundle up. Minus seven degrees is cold. I don't care what age you are. And we made sure Dijonay went back inside. She came outside without a jacket. We're all guilty of making quick trips without being properly dressed. But after what looks like two deadly accidents, authorities say it is not worth the risk. We're live in Cleveland on your side. Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.